from the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hi, dear listeners, and uh, hi, Roger. Hello, Peter. We're back with another Ropecast this time. And, uh, Roger, let me ask you a question. Do you realize what we are doing right now? Well, we're chatting. Well, yes, but you know what we're also doing? We're schmoozing. If you say so. <laughs> yeah, I know that word. I've, I've heard it. Sounds sort of German. No, it, actually it is not. It's, it's Yiddish. Ah, right. But it does not... Now, people can't see us, but we are not kissing or anything. Uh, our German listeners will think now that we're sitting on each other's lap right now, but that <laughs> is not the truth. Still, we're sm schmoozing. Schmoozing actually meaning in English now having an intimate conversation. And, of course, we are having an intimate conversation, which only a few thousand podcast listeners can listen to. <laughs> you know, you've just reminded me, Peter, uh, a large American corporation yes. almost fired one of its employees who was not answering enough telephone calls per hour, uh -huh. and they told him, yeah. quit the schmoozing. Ah, okay. So that was having an internet intimate talk, but over the telephone with That's the right. with the uh, okay, yeah, and get some dollars in. Yes. <laughs> Actually, there's more than just the schmoozing as a Yiddish word that has come into English and changed its meaning. There's, for example, schlep. Oh yes. You know what schlep means I in do, German, yeah. schleppen. So yeah. that, that's to drag something heavy, to carry something heavy. And actually, it's changed its meaning a little bit. It's having a long, tiring trip. All right. Taking a long, trying, yeah. tiring You know, trip. I think of Woody Allen movies when I hear that word. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, you don't like Woody Allen movies? You think that's a schlep? No, no. I mean, that's <laughs> long, tedious just, voyage. <laughs> I could just imagine the word coming up there. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> But you know, Peter, there are words that have really been borrowed from German into uh -huh. English, words that I'm oh, familiar with from course. living in Britain. Uh-huh. For example, do you know what to strafe means? Strafe. Well, it must, must come from punishment, German Strafe, punishment. Well, there is a kind of connection, yeah. S-T-R-A-F-E. Yeah. And this is a verb in English. Ah, okay. And it seems to have come into the language during the Hitler period mm -hmm. because of German propaganda broadcasts where they would say, for example, Coventry was punished last night. Ah, uh, okay. And British listeners or British people who came across this word took it to mean that planes attacked the city. That is, the city was attacked from the air. And so it was strafed. Yeah. Now that you're mentioning it, you, you know the movie with Charlie Chaplin, Great Dictator, and I do. how he does this mock German? Right. And at one point he goes on straf, 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 saying all that time. I mean, it yes. doesn't mean anything, but yeah. he says straf, straf, straf. So yeah. it must have meant something to the people in 1940, actually, yeah. is when the movie was made. And a, a word that we certainly borrowed into British English during those war years and after was ersatz. Uh -huh. With very, very negative connotations. This was kind of second best. If uh -huh. you couldn't get butter, you got ersatz, and so on. Ah, uh, okay. It, it seems to me like when you import things into the British language, well, you sort of downgrade the meaning a little <laughs> not bit. Always, is that, no, is not that, always, no, not always. We're going to talk about this off the air. <laughs> I think we're going to have to say goodbye for today. Okay, Peter. Bye-bye. No, no hard feelings. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. Roger, there are still a lot of things I don't understand about the English language. And you think you will one day?